Alright guys, welcome back to another tutorial. This time I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a Java game using LWJGL or Lightweight Java Game Library 3 and Slick 2D. So you're going to need to download these two things from the websites. I'll, I'll leave them in the description. And then you also need Eclipse. You can use anything else really. Uh, you can use any IDE that would work for this. Um, like IntelliJ should work. I'm guessing Visual Studio should work. But I suggest you just use Eclipse if you want to follow this tutorial. So once you have those, you're just going to open Eclipse like this and in whatever workspace you want it to be in and make a new Java project or project and set Java project depending on what you have. And then I'm going to name this um, Game Tutorial. Right? That works. So then in the source folder, we're going to make a new package. I'm just going to call this like RPG.Game.Tutorial because I'm going to be focusing on making a top-down RPG kind of thing just because there's the, and I want to just kind of you know get into that documentation of really how you make a game because after you get past the like really basics that I'm going to go through in the first few tutorials you're not really going to have any clue what else to do because it's just how it is they don't have that much documentation on the advanced stuff that I want to go through so you're gonna make a new class and basically we need three classes to start off we need a menu a menu state because the way uh, Slick 2D works is each section of the game is its own state. So you have your menu state, you know, you have your main map state, you have all the buildings of their own states. And also you have your main class that holds everything. So I'm going to make, this one is the main one. I'm just call this um, Tutorial Game Enter. And then this is going to be the main class that is going to just get rid of that. Is just going to initiate everything. I don't know how to spell it. I'll explain it when we start to actually type the stuff out. Now this class is going to be the menu class, so I'm going to call this the main menu class. And then we need one more class that we're going to use, and I'm just going to call this the world map. That's all we need for now. So now that we have that, we need a few folders in the game tutorials section. So we need a new folder called lib for our libraries. We need a new folder called res for our like, pictures and stuff. And then in the lib, we need a new folder called jars. And we need a folder called natives. Natives. There we go. So now we're going to actually take, open up your LWGL or JGL folder and your um, Slick2D folder. You just unzip those. And then in Slick2D, you're going to go to lib. And then you're going to grab slick.jar. You're going to take that, put that in the jars folder, copy it. And now that's all we need from uh, this. So now what we do is we go to our LWJGL, the Lightweight Java Game Library. Go to jar, LW, take that jar, go to copy. And we also need to go back, we need to go to native. Or sorry, we just take the native folder. Take this native folder right here and put it into natives. So now that we have that, we go to, so I just put it, okay. We right click game tutorial or whatever you named your project. Go to properties, Java build path, libraries, then add jars. And you're going to go down until you get to the sort, oh sorry, lib jars. And you're going to select both the jars. Oh, I guess I got to go do it again. So you just select both of the jars, you do them both at once, it's easier. And then you, and the LWJGL, you want to go to the native library location, double click that, workspace. And then you're just going to go down to your natives folder, click that, OK. So now it's actually going to be getting your natives from there. Hit OK, apply, OK. So now we set up how we actually need to set up our Slick 2D and our LWJGL. So, next tutorial, I think we're going to be just setting up the main class and maybe going into the other classes a little bit. But I think um, we're just going to make the main class in the next tutorial. So, yeah, thanks for watching.